To all who come to this happy place, welcome. Hey guys, uh, we're back in the kitchen today, and we're going to be making a new cake. Um, I love making cakes. Um, so we're going to be making a hummingbird cake from Art Smith's Homecoming. And again, I've been using some of the recipes uh, here lately for him, from him. That uh, I just love his cooking. He just uh, southern style cooking, and uh, that's what I grew up on. Uh, they're easy recipes and uh, just really, really good. So we're going to be making a hummingbird cake. It's a pineapple and banana cake. Uh, it also has nuts in it, but you can leave those out if you uh, can't have nuts. And um, so let's get started. So I've got my recipe here. We're going to go, go through the uh, ingredients you're going to need. So you're going to need three cups of, of uh, flour, two cups of sugar, a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of cinnamon, brown cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of salt, two cups of uh, uh, chopped ripe bananas. So you're going to cut up your bananas. And we'll do that here in a little bit. Uh, you're going to need a cup of drained crushed pineapple, um, a cup of vegetable oil, two, two eggs, a teaspoon and a half of vanilla extract, and a cup of pecans, which I'm going to put pecans in. And uh, so that's just going to make it really good. We're also going to do the frosting. This is going to be scratch made as well. So you're going to need uh, eight ounces of cream cheese at room temperature. So you want to lay, make sure you leave those out. Uh, you're also going to need a half a cup or one stick of butter. Uh, also room temperature. Of course, everything's better with butter. And uh, you're going to need about a pound of uh, confectioner's sugar, which is about four and a half cups, and uh, and then a teaspoon of vanilla extract. So this would be a really good uh, recipe, and I'm looking forward to make it, and uh, and especially looking forward to, to, uh, to eat it. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to pre preheat your oven to 350 degrees. So we'll do that real quick here. I have an electric oven, so it takes about six minutes and it's ready to go. So uh, let's move over here to the counter and we'll get mixing together and uh, get this going. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add our three cups of flour. Two cups of sugar. Next, we need a teaspoon of baking soda. Now, we need a teaspoon of cinnamon. And half a teaspoon of salt. Now we're just going to mix this together. And you do not want to use a mixer for this recipe. Uh, this is a soft recipe uh, that uh, you'll mess up your batter if you use a mixer. So all this is going to be done with just by hand. Okay? Mix this well together. All right, and then we'll set this aside. So next, we're going to need uh, our bananas. So I'm going to show you how I cut up my banana. I always start here on the end here, and I peel it open like this and you can lay it down on your counter. You don't get anything on your counter. Then you're going to take a knife and you're just going to chop it up while it's here in the peeling. Let's get the end off there. You don't really need that. And then we're just going to cut it up nice and easy. You can roll them on me a little bit but that's okay. And then as we get them done we'll throw them in our, our cup over here. This way, you don't make a mess while you're cutting up your banana.
now the next thing we need is our pineapple. And this is a crushed pineapple, just an 8-ounce can. That's a cup, so we're just going to pop this open. And we're going to drain it. The way that I do that is I just kind of take the lid. I have a glass here. I'm just going to pour in my juice. You guys can see because my arms are there. There we go. I'm just going to pour in the juice. And squish it down with the can lid. Get as much of the juice out as I can. Because then, once you're done, you got a nice uh, little half, about a half a glass of juice that you can drink. I love some pineapple juice. Probably one of my favorite. Actually, pineapple is my favorite fruit. I just love pineapple. All right, so that's good and squish it down in there. We'll add this to our bananas. Put that in. And then we'll move on to the next thing. So next we need a cup of oil. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla. And now again, we're going to mix this all up by hand. I kind of want to mush up the banana just a little bit, not much, but just enough to kind of keep little chunks of it. Get this all mixed together, and then we'll add it to our dry ingredients. ingredients. I'm going to take my spatula here and put it in with the dry ingredients. And we're just going to fold this all together so you get a nice batter. Again, we're just using the, the, the spatula. We don't want to be harsh on this because we don't want to pulverize all the fruit. So we're just going to work this together until it's nice and smooth.
fold these in as well. So now that I've got my batter ready, I've got uh, two of my round cake pans ready to go. They're greased and ready to go. You can also add some flour in the bottom if you need to, to help them from sticking. But we're just going to evenly put in our batter into both pans. Thirty minutes. Again, we're at uh, 350. So about 30, 35 minutes, and we'll come back and check them when they're all finished. So here we go. So I wish you guys could smell this, but my goodness, these things smell so good and they look amazing. And uh, I've already checked them; they are done. chunks and the pineapple in there. So we're going to get these out and uh, I've got some uh, racks here already set up with some parchment paper on them and I'm going to give them a few minutes to cool and then I'll flip them out onto the racks to let them cool completely and then we'll get started on the uh, icing. So I've got the cakes turned out onto the cooling racks and the parchment paper. Uh, they're here cooling. So now let's get into making the icing. So the first thing we're going to need is a 8 ounces of cream cheese. And again, you want it soft so it's easy to mix. So I'm just going to squish it out of the package here into the bowl. Next we need a stick of butter. Again, soften so we can let it sit out for a little while and get it nice and soft. We'll stick this in. Didn't want to go either. The paper wants to hold it. There we go. And now for your confection sugar, you're going to use a pound of this, which is a lot. And you don't want to dump it in all at once because you're otherwise you'll have a gigantic mess. We are going to use the mixer this time, and uh, I don't have one of the stand mixers, I have just a hand mixer. Like I say, I usually don't use a mixer, but for this, you kind of be, uh, need to be able to cream your icing together, so save it on your hands and lots of stirring if you can use the, the regular mixer. So, what we're going to do first is, we're going to start with the mixer, kind of on low, and uh, we will cream this together and then we'll start adding our sugar. So here we go. like to lick the beaters. <laughs> so we've got our icing made and uh, we'll let these cakes cool and uh, come back here in a little while, probably about 30-40 minutes or so, so they're nice and cool and then we'll put the icing on and then we can eat it. So exciting. Yes. Okay, so the cakes are all cool and we're ready to put our icing on. So we're going to take one of our cakes and put it face down bottom here. And 
nice it just on the top. Somewhat even layer. Again, this is just for preference because this is going to be our middle layer. However much icing you want in the middle. But you also want to leave enough for you know, so you can do the rest of the cake. Alright. So now we're going to take our other cake. What is it? Up. Just like that. And now we'll cover it in icing. Pretty it up a little bit. So I've got some uh, whole pecans. Since we put uh, pecans in it, I'm going to uh, just kind of make a little border around just to say that hey, uh, this does have some nuts in it. Just for those that might not uh, you know, not be able to eat nuts, so that they know that there are nuts in here. Uh, I don't want to use up too much of my too many of my pecans because they're I'm saving those for another recipe that I'm sure I'll show you guys for a pecan pie, which is my favorite kind of pie. But yeah, we're just gonna lay these around. Like so. And there you have it. So guys, thanks so much for watching, and uh, thanks for uh, sticking around with uh, while I make my cake. So here we go. It looks pretty awesome. I'm gonna try it out here in a little while. And, uh, see how it tastes. I'll show, show you guys uh, some pictures afterwards and what to cut into it. But yeah, I hope you guys like this, and uh, hope you guys can try it. It's a little bit more of an advanced recipe, but uh, it's still you know, fairly easy very basic uh, ingredients and uh, so I hope you guys can make this at home. Let me know too if you have ever had the, uh, the cake at the restaurant. I still have never eaten it at Homecoming. Uh, I haven't been there since it's open so uh, I'm excited to go and try it sometime and uh, yeah. So let's uh, cut this cake and we'll see how it is. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time. Thanks.